Like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, or this will be in your bed tonight. What small thing should be illegal because it pisses you off on a daily basis? Meetings that should have been an email. Ugh having to take a 3 hour train journey so they can read everyone a powerpoint presentation in the same room. Have you ever pulled your boss aside mention the cost of the train ride versus a remote type setup? Bringing up cost savings could be seen as a good thing. Obviously it has to be the right situation for you and your job. Entering an elevator before people have exited said elevator. Pillory for the day. This one gets me. I live in a dorm and am constantly almost running into people because they try to get on the elevator before I get out. Also, people who wait 5 seconds after the doors open to get out the elevator. Move your ass. Yes, both make me crazy. I work at the hospital where elevators are literally the only method of transport. It's astonishing that no one can seem to figure out how it works. I'm pushing a human in a wheelchair out, and you're trying to scoot to the side and squeeze in between us and the door? Just let Emmy get out first arc. Playing music out loud from your phone on the bus. Why would you even do that? The music sounds so much better with a headset. I want to call attention and show how great my music is because I'm obviously better than everyone else and have better taste. S. Online recipe is prefaced with 7 paragraphs of blogging. On one hand, I just want to learn the secret to getting my sourdough to rise. On the other hand, this woman has just written a 2500 word essay about the cracks appearing in her marriage and I'm really rooting for her now. This was my exact problem when trying to make sourdough. There's no good resource everyone contradicts each other. Even trying to get a starter going like do I just keep adding flour? What do I do with it? I don't need a massive bowl full of starter at all times. So when I do find good recipes they all have walls of text. Not using headphones when watching videos in public. But they're so funny. Everyone wants to hear them. Ali A intro plays. People stopping for a chat in crowded areas or narrow places. And not even moving slightly when you are pretty much pushing them to get through. And then they look at you like you're the ear because you have the nerve to try and get to where you need to go. Caller it spoofing. There are very few situations where there's a legitimate need to spoof a number but there's a high burden on law enforcement to prove the illegal uses. So abuses are running rampant. Edit. To clarify a couple of points. Under current US law spoofing is illegal only in cases of fraud. The burden is on law enforcement to prove fraud. The current US law on spoofing was written at a time when fraudulent spoofing was rare. And that law hasn't been updated as times changed. I'm deaf and never use the phone. I get random calls all the time from people saying I called them. My number's been reported to the agency multiple times too by myself telling them it's being spoofed and basically any time that it goes on it'll be someone else because I'll literally never use the phone. Edit. Guys it's the 21st century I'm using a mobile device. There's many other ways to use it besides calling. Really sorry you have to go through that. Current law gives the legal owner of a phone number no recourse if a scammer spoofs their number. Radio commercials that play car horns, sirens or crash sounds. Why? I'm driving. Was in a hospital waiting room once and an advertisement on the radio TV loudly played at bip bip b e of a heart monitor flatlining. Awkward. This is a very good one and something that should actually be regulated. Walking in a group in public hallways or on sidewalks but all side by side so no one can pass you. If we are walking opposite directions, instead of giving them space, I just stop right in my path so they have to move aside to get by or collide with me. Yep, I'll happily get out of the way or wait if there's one person coming the other way. But if there's four of you and none of you make the effort to make space I'm either gonna stop straight in front of you, or if I'm in a particularly bad mood just keep walking. People who cut you off and slow down. Nothing pisses me off more when driving than when there is no traffic behind you, and someone cuts you off last minute so they can slow down to 3 miles per hour to turn exit the highway whatever. Sometimes I get it. Someone may have not known they needed to take the exit before they got there. However when I have no one behind me and you cut between me and another car because you have to be in front. Screw that. Asking me questions while I'm using the urinal. I work in IT. Co-workers see the bathroom as my office. Wait it isn't. 
I should probably stop urinating in his office. In the grocery store, leaving your shopping cart blocking one side of the aisle while you stand next to it, blocking the other side of the aisle, leisurely considering which box of sugar to select, while oblivious to other shoppers waiting to get by. Edit. Extra time in the stocks if you roll your eyes when someone says, Excuse me. I had this happen yesterday. A woman, going the wrong way, stops at the end of the aisle putting her cart right in the middle of the aisle and standing off to one side. I said excuse me three different times and she, after the third, just looked at me and said I was rude. I ended up pushing her cart out of the way, called her a runt, and walked off. I was angry the rest of the day, not my finest moment. If you feel you did wrong and want to be better I understand but to be fair, from what you wrote, she was a runt. Cutting in line. The one crime the UK retains the death penalty for. Can we go further? Edit. Google it. I can feel your anger. Stopping suddenly in the middle of the sidewalk, or aisle, or hallway, or road, or highway, or my heart. People who speed up when you try to pass them, and then they pass you again later, only to slow down again, forcing you to continue the game. I consciously, actively maintain a constant speed. A. The reason I caught up with and then passed you in the first place is that I'm driving faster than you are. RIP in box. I'm shutting down notifications. Love you I oars. Or they whip out right in front of you in a big rush then proceed to drive nice and slow. There's always that one car that merges on the interstate, darts across four lanes of traffic to get in the left lane and proceeds to drive 55. WTF are you doing? My co-worker giving 40 minutes of backstory for what ends up being about 5 minutes of pertinent conversation. Edit. To those of you saying you do this, I'm sure y'all are wonderful and aren't nearly as bad as you'll think. This is easily one of the worst cases of this I have ever come across. Sometimes, long and detailed stories are interesting. Just so happens my co-worker thinks what he his daughter slash his great uncle had for breakfast is pertinent to the story. Second edit. I fixed my spelling of you all you freaking grammar Nazis. That's my mom in every conversation we ever have. So I went to the grocery store on Monday. Was it Tuesday? I know I got my nails done that day and then I stopped by the post office to send off my RSVP for the Johnson's son's wedding. Have you seen him? They're a good looking couple but I heard she has some history and I don't know if they're going to make it. Poor thing. Anyway I think it was Tuesday because Wanda did my nails and I don't think she works on Mondays because she takes care of her mom. Or is it her dad? Well I get to the store and you'll never guess who I see. Your girlfriend from high school. You wouldn't believe it she looks like she's age 15 years I almost didn't recognize her. We talked and caught up and she said she's working for this doctor's office in town and she seems to be going well. I added her on Facebook. So then I did my shopping and got home and you know how my back hurts after shopping so I lay down for a while before I made dinner. But the store had those peppers in stock that you like so I made that recipe you gave me last year in that email and it was so good. Double quote. Old people that can barely drive, can't tell you the amount of times I've almost been hit by them because they're just so unaware of their surroundings. Worse than drunk drivers a lot of time but no one will force them to retake driver's test past a certain age because it's political suicide. I had an old man back into me once, so I followed him on a chase while I called the cops. I didn't know he was old when he hit me. The cop came to my door and said, you know he's in his 80s, right? As if that were a good excuse. Granted, there was no damage to my car, but it sounded like he hit me pretty good, so I chased the tucker down. I had an old lady reverse out of her drive and knock me over when I was walking on the path. Cut my knee and shook me up. I banged on her rear window to tell her to stop as she carried on reversing after I picked myself up. But she was completely oblivious. I kept banging on the window but she just put it into gear and drove off. I shouted after her and a couple of other old folk walking down the street told me I was disgraceful for acting that way. Even though they must have seen her run me down. Customers treating employees like trash. It is insane how common it is for customers to scream at people that already have enough on their plate. Then your company to come around and bend a knee to them and do anything to please them. 
I think working at McDonald's has really taught me to always treat people how you would like to be treated. My customers were so demeaning to me there, and it made me feel so low. So I am always overly nice to cashiers, waiters, etc. Two semi trucks in each lane of the highway side by side going the exact same speed. I recently witnessed a 12 minute passing maneuver, as in, I was stuck behind it, on a German autobahn, where trucks are allowed to go a measly 80 km per hour, and no speed limit for cars, so I can stupid. Making articles of clothing with fake pockets, or even pockets that are too shallow, don't entice me with a nice functional pocket and then not deliver. Come on, whoever designs clothing with fake pockets has a ticket to a special place in hell. Parents who allow their child to watch something on their iPad loud as uck at a public diner. I was in a movie theater once and some kid was allowed to watch his ucking iPad on full blast during the movie, so in the middle of a suspenseful thriller you got Dora the Explorer in the background. So inconsiderate, why are idiots allowed to have children? You should have gotten an employee to throw them out. The perfume the guy I work with wears. I think at one time he was a smoker, and has no sense of smell. It's definitely perfume rather than aftershave. He smells like a prostitute's gooch. We have a guy who cycles to work and I think then empties an entire rucking can of X body spray on himself. You know when something smells so strong you can taste the air when you open your mouth to talk? Yeah, it's like that. Dart edit. Guys I'm not gonna get the guy fired over his poor choice in odor. Jesus fucking Christ. It's obnoxious but it's not force the single dad out of a paycheck obnoxious. It could be that he is used to smell so he uses too much. I've been guilty of this. Someone pointed it out so I stick to two spritzes even if I can't really smell it. Not a daily basis, but public speakers who ask how are you doing, to a crowd, then do the I can't hear you, bullshit. If it's before noon, they deserve to be shot. No one wants to be there. Uh, just move on and try to make us interested. I worked at a place a while back where they had mandatory monthly meetings. For my shift it was at 5am. The speakers were loud like this and even required people to do the wave. Worst damn experience of my life. I'm laughing so hard imaging a bunch of tired, angry people begrudgingly doing the wave. Chewing with your mouth open. My father-in-law is the loudest chewer I've ever known. And he moans while he chews. Moans. I can barely stand to be in the same room as him if he's even drinking some water. I cringed reading that. There are three things in the world that drive me baby. And chewing with your mouth open and loud eating are two of them. It legitimately makes me angry. So much so that I have had to leave the room when my dad is eating because I can hear him chewing from across the kitchen. But on a different note. Who the uck moans while eating? Bringing a baby's or toddler's to movie theaters. My wife and I started going to the drive-in theater when my daughter was born. Bucket seats. My own stereo system. Pizza or burgers as a snack and the baby can fuss without bugging anybody else but us. Fucking win 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 win. Actually illegal where I live. You have to be at least as old as the film's rating to get in. Holding your phone like you're about to eat with the loudspeaker on while talking in public bonus someone needs to hit me hard in the face points to you if I catch you complaining about anyone or anything invading your privacy at any other time. Honestly what's even the point of doing this? I really want to know if someone has an answer to this. I see it all the time and it drives me fucking insane. I can see absolutely no benefits to it. Edit. Imitating reality stars. Broken phone. Not wanting to smudge makeup and fear of grimy phones on faces seem to be the winners. I only accept broken phone as a reason to do this. People at the gym who bring like 8 different pieces of exercise equipment into an area or squat rack and hog it all for an hour until they're finished. If you ask for a piece they're like oh no I am using that for my ultra super duper set. So frustrating. I had someone hogging the squat rack while they talked on the phone a few weeks ago. He wasn't doing his exercises while on the phone and when I went up to them asking to use it they shooed me away and said they will be using it shortly. The Ucka. After he was on the phone for 10 more minutes I snuck to the front desk and they told him to get off the phone or go elsewhere. He got off the phone. The other day a guy was sitting on his phone at the glute machine for half an hour. I never saw him use it during this time. 
I did my entire workout and did glutes last. He was still sitting there on his phone. I go up to him and ask him can I work in? His reply I am not done yet. I didn't ask if he was done. I asked to work in. I walk off and lean against the wall just looking at him. Showing him I'm waiting. After a minute of him still sitting there on his phone he finally wraps it up. He didn't even do anything on the machine. Literally the next day I was waiting behind a guy who was using both of the only two bench presses for his ucking curls. I saw no one had touched one for 10 minutes so I start taking the weights off. He's at the dumbbells doing curls and goes hey wait I got one more set left I say you're using both. He goes yeah. Dut. People leaving shopping carts on the parking lot instead of returning them. Edit. Used car instead of cart. Fixed. In Europe most cards have coin slots you need to put a coin into in order to unchain it from the corral. And you get your coin back once you are done and return the cart and slip the chain lock back in the slot. Nobody's abandoning 1 euro by leaving cards all over the place. Such a simple solution. LD has this in America but it's only 25 cents. Edit. Guys. I get it. Most people don't carry 1 dollar coins around. Spelling my name wrong in emails. My name is in my email address. My name is in my signature. In my last email to you I put my name in. Just copy and paste my name rather than making up your own spelling for it. I agree. My name has an unusual spelling. And people often ask oh. Is this how you spell your name? Even if I've written it myself. Like oh no. I guess I forgot how to spell my name for a moment. Not using your blinker. Half the morons on the road in my city would be off the streets. That is illegal. Or at least in Canada it is. It's illegal in many countries. But driving in Canada, it's too common. Leaving the goddamned shopping cart in a rucking parking space. I don't know if this is a thing outside the UK but you never see abandoned trolleys, carts, if you have to put one pound in. Also, the people who leave them anywhere because they're giving someone a job. Uck you. Spending 5 minutes at checkout searching for a few 25 cents off coupons that you swore were in there. In general, taking an unnecessarily long time pissing about at grocery tills should be a crime it's especially infuriating when it's the express line, which is specifically ucking designed to move quickly. Also, too many items in the 20 or less lane, arguing about the price of every item, and talking on your cell phone throughout the entire transaction. Police sirens in songs on the radio, looking at you rap hip hop. Along with car horns and brake noises in radio ads. Have you been hurt in a car accident? Now I have. You son of ab ch. Portable speakers in a public space. Nobody wants to hear your shit music. Use some earbuds. Edit. Ha. Didn't know it was a big issue out in the woods too. I go fishing a lot but don't hear much out on the lake. More of a problem at school for me. In Brazil, they have guys who drive around with loudspeakers announcing political views and religion like every other day. Keep driven dude and stop disturbing my peace. Letting someone go ahead of you at a four way stop when you have the right of way. I don't care if you're trying to be nice. You're going to cause an accident. My ex once waved somebody on from the ucking passenger seat while I was driving. If I hadn't of seen her I would have t-boned the dude. As it happened it was a narrow miss. That was the one fight I just wouldn't concede to her cause she was clearly in the wrong. Clipping your fingernails in a common cubicle. Uck you. Sabrina. Uck you. Oh. Driving exactly the speed limit in the left lane in the US. That actually is illegal in some states. They enforce. Slower traffic keep to the right. They report all the time how this will be enforced never heard of anyone having any repercussions for doing that. Shitty parenting. This can be illegal depending on how shitty you're talking. Punishable by death. Edit. Why not all of them? Sending sick kids to school. I'm tired of my entire family getting sick because of it. But what about perfect attendance? Rubbernecking an accident. Oh wow. A person pulled over by a cop. What a rare sight. My pet peeve is the driver who sees that a cop has pulled someone over on the side of the highway. We're quite a ways back. Sitting comfortably doing 65-70 in the middle lane. Or driving 75-80 in the passing lane. And they decide to slam on their brakes down to 50 miles per hour suddenly. Instead of gradually decreasing speed. 
Almost rear-ended someone because of that. Only do sudden moves if you have no other option. That's the kind of shit that causes accidents. Littering. Especially from your car window. Like, if you happen to drop something while walking, at least you can go back and pick it up. But that giant paper bag full of happy meals you threw onto the highway? Uck you. Something that grinds my gears is when people are sitting on their phones at red lights and they're the first car. At least every couple days I have to beep at someone after they are sitting there for 3-5 seconds when the light turns green. This is technically illegal. I'm just venting lol. One time I beeped at a woman for doing this and she just started flailing her arms and popping the finger. Kind of felt bad for whoever has to deal with her on a daily basis. Ah, the iPorse. One of my managers is this ungodly annoying bubbly lady who greets each employee with with a shrill. We're splitting goo wood morning. Each time they enter the room or when she first arrives in the office, someone needs to fine imprison her. Sounds like someone has a case of the Mondays. Stop eating crisps like a horse that's been starved for 3 weeks. Is it acceptable if you are a horse that's been starved for 3 weeks? Nay. Having cancer. I get so frustrated that all the cures people share. Sour honey cures cancer. Glucose causes cancer. Eat less carbs. Gargle with vinegar. It removes cancer toxins. Gra. Yep. Suddenly everyone is an oncologist. My husband has been told to cut out all sugar. That cancer is actually a fungus. And that the medical marijuana he uses to treat symptoms can actually cure him. His response. If we'd cured cancer. I wouldn't have cancer. Advertising on streaming services. Cable broadcast has laws prohibiting things like raising the volume on advertisements compared to regular programming. Streaming apparently does not. Streaming ads are not embedded in the streamed show. Thus they can require greater network capacity and resolution causing the process to stall. Lastly, it should be wildly illegal to show an advertisement before the content of the content fails to load. FX now is particularly egregious about showing ads and then their player cannot load a show. So you have to rewatch the ad about 5 times to get their player to actually work. Using your turn signal after you've already started braking. Distracted walking. I hate seeing you coming. Right for me. I've got nowhere to go but directly into a headbutt. You're going to look up. Right? You realize you are walking. In public. Where other things or people might be. Shit. You're not going to see me. I have to save you as both. EGHHM. Hi. GTFO of my way. Not picking up after your dog. Stopping in the middle of a corridor to talk with someone. Preferably in front of a door. When people throw out cigarette butts and litter. Should be a mandatory one year jail sentence. Not using your arcing turn signals. Oh wait. That is illegal. But by the way people drive. You'd think it wasn't. Dudes pissing on a toilet seat and not wiping it up. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more interviews.